This is uh, Paula Mann reporting from BBC Broadcasting House. What is the story here? What's the story? The media can quickly insert liars. Those who've been encouraged to lie. Into media stories. A group of people who are all interconnected and yet the media has made no connection between Andrew Ash Bill Maloney Ben Fellows Brian Harvey Chris Fay John Wedger Wilfred Wong the craze. Child kidnap, violent child kidnap. They've made no connection between this group of people whatsoever. But they can quickly put liars, fantasists, into news stories. Why they keep some people out of their programs. When the program is about events which include some people. I mean, how they left former pop star Brian Harvey out of an episode of BBC Panorama to do with Andrew Ash and Chris Fay when Andrew Ash is being filmed and encouraged to lie about who abused him in childhood and they've kept Brian Harvey out of that. They also managed to keep Bill Maloney out of that episode. Bill Maloney with John Wedger. John Wedger on BBC Radio. John Wedger with Wilfred Wong, a child kidnapper. John Wedger with Chris Lambriano from the Cray Gang. Or his brother Tony Lambriano in the Cray Gang. James Fielding appears, appears a lot in these uh, stories. James Fielding. So the media can insert liars and fantasists in the news very quickly. Of course, as we all know, I am a liar and a fantasist. Who knows that group of people? Who's had death threats from that group of people? I also have my own story, which started back in 1988. I would be perfect for somebody right now, wouldn't I? If people actually wanted to take a statement from me and investigate my allegations. The media could then report that I am a liar and a fantasist, making up stories about Prince Andrew. That would help his cause no end, wouldn't it? Except the media are not asking me about my story. They have no interest in it at all. Uh, YouTube has no interest in my story at all. Uh, the message that is loud and clear is that I am ignored. <laughs> no one's interested in my story. Uh, a story that was also recorded in 1988 
and there are witnesses to me talking about events concerning certain people in 1988. Attempts to report things to the police back in 1988. The media's uh, not coming down here asking me questions, wanting my story. The police will not take a statement from me and investigate my allegations. Maybe that's because they already know that my story is credible and true. And it would be very dangerous for them to get hold of my story and start reporting on it. It would be dangerous for some people because my story is credible and true. Uh, the police won't take a statement from me and start investigating my allegations because they already know that there is truth to the allegations and implications that I've made about certain people. I wondered back in 1988 if events in my life involving a woman had something to do with these people, Keith Stark and Prince Andrew. I wouldn't accuse them of uh, being directly involved in uh, grooming, threats. Uh, but they may have known people who were involved in that. when a sexual offence took place a couple of doors down from Ku Stark's home. Perhaps it was a little show for their benefit, who knows? Uh, my, my story was further enhanced after 1988 by the introduction of Lady Emma Herbert the Earl of Pembroke's daughter who made erotic films and he made an erotic film with Ku Stark called The Awakening of Emily and he made that film at the family home I say home, it's a massive great mansion <laughs> the Earl of Pembroke Henry Herbert, now deceased. So the introduction of Lady Emma Herbert into my life, really for me, adds weight to my worries and concerns that certain people here may have had something to do with grooming and a sexual offence which took place somewhere between 1980 and 1981 in a house in Grange Park, Ealing a few doors away from the home of Ku Stark. I would be perfect for Prince Andrew right now if the media came to me and asked me about my story and wanted all the details and wanted to investigate my story or if the police wanted to take a statement and investigate my story I think the only reason it gets ignored is because it would not help somebody. If I was a liar and a fantasist, and they know I'm a liar and a fantasist, like some people, the media would be down here getting my story, and the police would be taking a statement from me about my story, and then they could expose me as a liar and a fantasist, and then it would be printed in the press that people make up stories about Prince Andrew. It's really not rocket science, is it? Thanks very much.